So welcome back guys to a brand new video. Now today we are going to be going through the new update that did just go live for Ark Survival Evolved on the Xbox, PlayStation and the PC. This update is pretty cool because obviously it's the next Genesis Chronicles and there's lots of other stuff in there that I think you guys will enjoy. At the end of the video, we are also going to be talking about the second video that should be going live later on today. There's so much information this Friday, so if you guys do enjoy, smash that like button. Let's see if we can hit the 800 like target on today's video. Make sure to be subscribed if you're not subscribed already, so you don't miss out on all of your ARC news coming very soon. As obviously, in March, Wildcard have said that they're still on track with no delays for Genesis Part 2. I'm really looking forward to that, but anyway, let's get in with the update. Now, I always get the PC, Xbox, and PS4 patch notes up, but they're, just to show you guys that they're always the same. Sometimes they're a little bit different, but I think this week they're just completely the same, but we'll just read through the PC ones for now. So, added Explorer notes 11 to 15 for Genesis Chronicles. As you guys know, um, Genesis Chronicles is something that they do building up to new DLCs. Uh, the first one, I think, was for Extinction because they started doing Extinction Chronicles. Then they did the Genesis 1 um, Chronicles, and now this is the Genesis 2 Chronicles. They also added the Tech Chest version 2 for Genesis Chronicles. So, so far, I think we've had the leggings and the boots, I think. Um... I can't actually remember, I know we've had the leggings and now they've added the tech chest. With Genesis Part 2, you will obviously have the official suit, like we, we, we're meant to spawn in on the ship with the tech armor on already, but this is kind of to give us a skin to get us prepared for Genesis and it's a really cool thing to put on the normal tech suit right now. It just looks so much better than the one that's in the game, um, that, well that's been in the game for like since it ever since tech ever got released, so I'm really glad that they're bringing these new skins in a little bit earlier on, um, so you'll be able to get that for Genesis Chronicles. Added additional mesh biting detection. Um, now this is something that I've seen a lot of people um, complaining a little bit about recently but I think overall people are enjoying having this in more. Obviously for the last year that the meshing has really really you know they've really ramped up the sort of um, you know pressure on getting this uh, getting this out of the game and I know a lot of people have been losing tames by you know it's like glitching through the maps and stuff. I've been seeing a lot of people on Genesis losing tames, which looks very frustrating, especially when they're your favorite giggers. Um, fix multiple mesh methods um, that obviously wildcard, they've said every single time they update, they're always looking for different mesh spots that they're going to be sorting out. And that's what they do every update. Fix the bug where the Scorched Earth Manticore was rewarding the incorrect amount of elements. Fix an exploit that allowed players to create names with invisible letters. Fixed um, multiple level design related bugs such as holes, floating foliage, incorrect volumes and more. So really this kind of is just, uh, you know, will benefit meshing again. Um, you know, not f so things that fall through little holes in the map and stuff. Because it still happens to this day, guys, and it is very, very frustrating. It used to happen all the time when, when, when the Ark was first released. I always, when people say Ark's a broken game, I always like to like to say to someone like, I'd love you to try it when it first came out in early access and compare it to how amazing and how like you know how much the game has changed since those first few days like you'd be falling through all different parts of the map on the when it first was released but still they've really come a long way. Fix the bug where the taming UI pop up would not function at reduced resolution scales. Fix the bug where the tech turret did not respect tribe ranks. Fix the crash with the taming HUD. Fix an exploit that allowed beehives to be duped. Um, so obviously you won't be able to do this anymore, which is the main thing. I have seen a lot of people talking about that on Twitter. Uh, the mana can no longer dash when C4 is attached. Uh, obviously just how like the Pteranodon cannot roll. Now I kind of agree with this and the reason why is because it can be ridiculously OP and glitchy. You know people can dash into bases when they shouldn't be, they can get into spots. That's what used to happen with the Pteranodon back in the day. Like you could roll and glitch yourself into places you shouldn't be able to and then you could use and then explode the C4 as you roll it in and you know it was just it was just crazily OP and now that you know the mana I did think I did think for a while that was going to get changed and um, the Danonicus riders are now correctly di um, dismounted when flashed by plant species Z fruit um, carnal visual changes texture material update that's very very interesting 
I wanted like I, I when when I saw this I didn't know but this is kind of like a TLC that we've been talking about so maybe we'll have a little look in um you know in an, uh, obviously the next sort of video or so at the new sort of Carno changes that could be a little idea there might be three videos today I didn't realize there was actually such you know such a big change to it but I mean you watch I go onto the game and I don't really notice a difference but you never know you never know the, you know people have been asking for a TLC for the Carno for a very long time. And finally, new single player slash host setting, which is enable level up for flyer movement speed. Um, you can uh, enable the setting on unofficials. That's pretty cool. I'm actually really glad about that. This update's better than what I expected. Like when I read through it at the start, before a video, I always sort of like skim through them a bit. But when I actually go in depth into them, I realize actually <laughs> we've been needing this in the game for so long. Like we've got a little bit of a Carno, Carno TLC and then we've also got movement speed back in the game which you can get on your own single player or, ho or dedicated servers. That is what we've needed for so long. That is brilliant. So that is the full update which you guys will be able to uh, download now onto your consoles. Um, now the last thing that I wanted to talk about was the community crunch so there wasn't any community there hasn't been a community crunch for the last 15 days the last one was on the new year's event that happened obviously on new year's um and cedric said i'm trying to work with the team on a genesis 2 teaser for next week's community crunch that's what we all want right no promises though so i mean he said no promises but i i feel like they will do it and then if it does happen you'll see a video tonight on it um, it'll be in the new community crunch. I really hope they stick to it. It'll either be a, tra a trailer, it'll either be like a new creature. It'll be something like that. So it'll be definitely a lot of fun to t um, take a look at. And that video will be coming some point later tonight. Knowing my luck, the community crunch will be out at like 2 a.m. or something UK time. But to be honest, I'm usually up at that time at the moment moment because we're back in another lockdown. So uh, yeah, and to be honest, I normally am on the weekend as it is. So it doesn't bother me. And I love bringing content out to you guys whenever I can. But anyway, that is going to be the end of today's video there's so much going on right now of arc survival evolved it's very very exciting so if you do enjoy today's video as always smash that like button subscribe if you're new around here and i'll catch you guys in my next video see you guys later Welcome, Survivor. Enjoy the view. You see before you the pinnacle of mankind's ingenuity. All of humanity's hopes and dreams carefully nestled within this lifeboat. Each of its shining rings are laden with miracles of science and nature. A paradise where the boundary between the biological and technological has been all but erased. And now all of it is mine. I control this vessel now. I command its evolution. And very soon, its destination. From there, my will shall spread across the cosmos forever, infinite and undying. And there's nothing you or that witless puppet, that shadow of her, can do to stop me. I have already set my designs in motion. Our future awaits, survivor.